This is Melissa with Vandy's Closet. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I generally um, do things about reselling and Poshmark mainly. Um, I do dabble in eBay. I say dabble in eBay because I've not been on that platform that long this time. <laughs> I was on eBay back in the day when it first came out in the 90s. I think it was the late 90s. Um, that dates me a little bit. But I mainly sell on Poshmark and so I do more sales on that. Anyway, so I recently got my Dymo. I got it today and it, after about three hours of trying to set it up, I finally got past um, the issue that was preventing me from printing. So when I first installed it, it gave me this error saying um, it, it was like a visual C++ uh, redistribution package type error and it says you know it could install this do you want to continue if you get that error just say yes you want to continue because that didn't seem to be an issue in the end so um, I will tell you exactly what was a problem in the end once you um, get it all installed and if you run it and you try to do a test print but it says that it's out of paper then here's how you fix that issue First of all, you're going to need to go, I'm on Windows 10, so I went to printers and scanners, and I'm not sure if you need to do devices on an early, earlier version of Windows, like on 8. Um, I didn't have to set it compatibil I didn't have to change my compatibility to 8 either, so that didn't seem to be, be my problem, although if you're still having issues, maybe that's, maybe if you can't load certain parts of it or it's not even recognizing it, maybe try that, but I didn't have to. But here's how I fix it. So you're going to have to left click here if you're on Windows 10. Right clicking doesn't work in this menu. And hit manage. And then you go to printing properties. And then you go to here it says it correctly. So you're going to go to preferences. Prefaces. Or not preferences. I said it right the first time. And make sure this is portrait because Posh, if you're using on Poshmark, you're going to need that to be in portrait you're going to need to go to advanced and it's right here where it actually needs to say the same thing as here and this loaded automatically but this was something else and I don't know why but once you fix it say okay say okay say okay and you're good to go and um, also make sure that the when you're loading the paper that it's right up against the left hand side like the instructions do say that I just want to stress that because apparently people weren't doing that on some other threads I found and that ended up being a problem for them because it just wasn't recognizing or wasn't feeding correctly or whatnot so it needs to be up at left hand side um, and also so once you're done with that you're going to go to um, you need to change your shipping settings on Poshmark itself. So how I got there was going to account settings and then shipping label settings. And then mine was set to eight and a half by 11, which is probably everyone's because we print on our computers. And I was printing out one label per piece of paper and then folding it and then putting in that one of those clear sleeves you get from USPS. And now I don't have to do that anymore. I'm so excited. So um, four by six, and then you don't hit OK or anything. You just hit that and then go to a different menu. And I, <laughs> I was a little, I was a little mistrustful that I actually took the settings. So I went to a different thing and I went back. I'm like, oh, OK, you're still set, right? And then I actually printed a label from a sale I made earlier today that I had already sent, but I just printed the label just to see. I was like, wasted one label, um, and it printed it perfectly. So it was giant. Um, I had tried to print a label earlier without changing the setting, and that's why I'm bringing this up. And it was this little tiny box in the middle of the page. And I'm like, oh, that's not going to be big enough to even see. So once I figured, I remembered I need to go and change the setting in, in here, I was able to do it just fine. So that's it. So thank you so much for, um, for watching my video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, even if you give me a thumbs down, you will not hurt my feelings um, because YouTube looks at thumbs ups and thumbs downs as the same thing. So it just basically all publicity is good publicity according to YouTube, which works for me. Um, so please subscribe and like I said, like it. <laughs> 
and uh, leave me a comment any questions or concerns or maybe you found a better way or maybe you had a different problem um, and then you you were able to fix it I would love for you to leave the comment down there so if other people are having that problem and they find my video then they can get fixed if they're having your issue well thank you so much for watching